Hey everyone, Dotson 280Z part two. Uh, got the car running, so the following video will be just a brief overview of how I went through that pro process. You know I can see you, right? I put some PB blaster on these the other day but I think what I'm gonna do is use my bolt buster and see what we can do here but I've also been taught to try to tighten them a little bit before you try to loosen them when they're really rusty this way. The fuel tank is out. I have an LED light stuck down in there. All right, I got the fuel pump out. Got it on my cluttered workbench. But I've got this little, this is a little 12 volt battery. So this fuel pump does not run. Yeah, I got my new Dotson 280Z fuel pump in. Number six. Okay. Good spark on all six cylinders. All right, I know for sure now that fuel pump's pumping fuel to here. So, the fuel pump was tied into this air valve right here. And if that flap's not open, the fuel pump won't run. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna turn this thing on. Now I've just got a funnel right there with gas in it because the gas can pick up apparently is stopped up so I'm gonna let this fuel pump run here for a second uh oh I've got a fuel leak shut her down shut her down well it looks like the fuel rails busted well no that's hose in it I found me a piece of hose there that worked pretty good Now let's see how many more leaks we've got. Mm. Yep, we got a hole in the line now. Uh, I'd activate the fuel pump again. some clean fuel here this is actually ethanol free fuel and if it does try to start it probably won't run long no more fuel than that is all right my camera went dead just as I'm getting ready to crank it here we go again Up. 
That's awesome. Well, I've got it running now. Anyway, uh, I've got to do some work on that fuel tank. Um, yeah, I think the fuel tank pickup is stopped up, but I'll have to double check it. All right, now what am I gonna do?